Cheers. To you and your new apartment. Young man, there is no time for this tomfoolery. Now that you have an apartment, you have great responsibility to know your rights as a renter. Do, 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 do. Yeah. When you first move into your apartment, there are a few things that you want to do just to protect yourself as a renter. First, you're going to want to take pictures of everything. If you see any cracks in your apartment, if you see stains, if you see holes in the wall, take a picture of it. Make sure it's on record. And also make sure everything works as it should. Your appliances, your like windows and doors, and make sure everything is clean. You just want to make a record of how your apartment is when you move in. So when you settle into your apartment, there are a few things that your landlord is responsible for while you're living there. So things like if you get bed bugs, your landlord is responsible for getting that exterminator. If there's a disaster like a flood or a fire or something like that, you should see what your landlord is responsible for. So what if something is broken in your apartment? Assuming that you didn't cause it, usually your landlord is responsible to fix it. But we're talking about things that were like a part of the apartment before you came in, not like your own stuff. Ah, I broke another nail. Landlord! Utilities can be a little bit confusing sometimes because sometimes your landlord is paying for it, sometimes you're paying for it, but the important thing to remember is all of that should be laid out in your lease. Utilities include things like water and hot water, heat, electricity, and gas. And if there are going to be any changes to your lease in the next period, then there's a certain amount of time beforehand that your landlord needs to tell you about it. When you're corresponding with your landlord about any repairs, anything that's broken in your apartment, make sure you're doing it in email. When something does go wrong in your apartment, you should definitely have a written record of when it went wrong, when you asked your landlord to fix it, when they said they'd fix it, and then when they actually did fix it. There are also only certain specific reasons for your landlord to enter your apartment. Things like inspections, repairs, showing your apartment to prospective tenants. And there's also a specific amount of time required before they enter that they need to let you know about it unless it's an emergency. You can also ask for a longer period of time of notification before your landlord enters. Now, what happens if your landlord refuses to make those repairs? It turns out there are a number of different things that you can do, things like withholding your rent. For some things, you can deduct the cost of the repairs from your rent and then repair them yourselves. And in really severe cases, you can either break your lease or take your landlord to court. You should double check on your city ordinances to make sure about each of these, though. If you can help it, don't take your landlord to court. That's going to be a really long, potentially expensive process. And there are a number of other resources other than us. You can get renter's insurance to cover your things in case they get destroyed in like a fire or flood or something. There are also several nonprofits who can help you interpret your lease, your city ordinances, and your rights in general. If you do need to take your landlord to court, there are lawyers in some cities who will work for free unless you win and then they'll just take a small percentage. But the moral of the story is to keep record of everything, right? Everything down, take note of everything. 10.02 a.m. Subject is reading a book. Subject's feet still look the same. Maybe a little scuff on the left shoe. This has been Clara. And David. And you've been watching the 20-something 20 20 starter, starter kit. kit. See you next Monday. You got sauce there? We're, we're coming up with the pasta sauce. <laughs> the pasta dance. And then also just any additions that you want to make, a protein of some kind, some kind of like hearty vegetable or, you know, I don't know whatever, what you, whatever you want. I, I love it. Just keep going.